In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about requesting SSL for Exchange Server 2010. So we all know when we are using Exchange 2010, when you try to log in in OWA, we find it out that uh, we got the uh, uh, error certification error and that's because our exchange server not the secure way so how to request how to create a request file when you go through exchange management console and then server configuration as server configuration get the uh, exchange server so you have to select the particular uh, exchange server hub transport client access mailbox server in my case so I'm clicking on it and uh, there is an option called new exchange certificate when you click on it uh, uh, a wizard will open so this will ensure uh, to create a request file because what happens that uh, when we place or when we create a request file that request file we will provide that to CA uh, uh, certificate uh, of that uh, the authority certificate authority who were going to pass us a certification to us so in the introduction a friendly name for the certificates required so currently I'm going to ma name this as mail.techengineertv.in the name now the next option will be will be there for domain scope now for example in your uh, particular environment you have uh, the wildcard domain it means like subdomains uh, in, in that case for example you have uh, like mail uh, it tech engineer tv dot in is a, a is a forest and then mail dot tech engineer tv dot in and then in that case if you are using some other domain a subdomain maybe tv dot tech engineer tv dot in or maybe a news dot tech engineer tv dot in so in that case when you pr put a star over there or if you have a scope then you can add it or otherwise put a star there so you need not to change every time if you create any dns or any uh, sub domain now the next option will be the exchange configuration and here i'm going to select our client access server so outlook web app here i'm going to add for the intranet here is exchange server run that tech engineer tv dot in so whenever we uh, utilize owa option you will find out that we write https dot and the, the address and we got the error from the browser that this particular browser is not selective it's it's, it's a security error so that's we need to add on here in the internet for example the same owa through internet how we able to access our mailbox in that case i'm going to add it as mail.techengineertv.n so it will be through internet and in an internet i have to give the host name of the exchange server the next option will be client access server the exchange active sync so this time I'm going to add the same mail.techengineertv.in so it will be uh, from the active sync will have to be enabled same it will be for my domain host and uh, the web services auto discover so in that case my auto discover this first will be the web services client access server so let me remove this techengineertv.in and keep the mail that tech engineer tv dot in i'm just removing removing the uh the forest name and keeping this mail that tech engineer tv dot in for the external host and this time for the auto discover used on internet so it will be auto discover dot tech engineer tv dot in a long url you can assign a short url for the auto discover or you can add your own URL format as well. So rest of the thing you can uh, configure a client access server, unified messaging server, hub transport server, legacy exchange server if you have any. You can add it according to your network properties. Now in the certificate domain we have three domains which we need to add this auto discover.techengineertv.in is mandatory. 
yes it's for the intranet exchange server run that engine tv done in and the internet van which is in bold mail that tech engine tv dot in you can set as common name as well you can add or edit or you can delete now here i'm going to add organization and location so which organization which we belongs so we're going to add it so all this information will be there in the request file whenever we're going to su submit the request file to the uh, certificate authority uh, they will pass according to it and uh, like if you want to uh, sign then you can have from GoDaddy or, or Barry something like that so I'm just adding our digestion unit and the country is India so the Delhi and state provenance as well we will say Delhi now we're going to create a request file so it needs to give a path where you're gonna add the request file so you can add very very uh, suitable you wants to add it so I'm, I'm adding in a C drive itself and this will be a certificate request file that req will be the extension so in C drive I'm going to add uh, naming it anything you want to name any friendly name you want to add nothing to know uh, nothing to change about like you wants to add some officials okay no problem I like I said certificate SSL I'm saving it and uh, the file has been created now I'm going to add next now this will proceed for the steps and uh, the steps will take some time to create an entire certification and this is completely a request file that request has been generated and an uh, option will be generated as well which is you can see a uh, friendly name and the subject name the domain name a uh, private key exportable key size 2048 and this will this actually took some time uh, so I'm, I'm removed this uh, portion 52 seconds has been taken out and everything has been uh, configured there you can check it out the basics in the information you provided and the complete request because the pen request will be pending it will be assigned a certificate so now another exchange certification will be will be done you can see that before it's a self site certificate self sign certificate for the subject exchange server one and the issuer exchange server one so all the time whenever you form exchange server a self site certificate formed but this time you can see that another exchange certification have been created but this time it's pending because we have to uh, get the certification from the CEO, CA certificate authority and whatever certification we have created we have to exchange the request file and they will provide us a certification of .CER here you find out that DER encoded binary will be provided and the, the extension of that certification will be .CER so this is what, how uh, we can create an introduction uh, and request of the certification and a new certificate will be provided by CA and that we need to add here and according to that once it will be signed by the CA we will not going to get any error which we used to once we uh, try to come uh, try to log in in a secure way of our 